How do people with colorblindness see the world? Are those colorblind glasses where people have really emotional responses after seeing colors for the first time real? Here I'll show some real examples of how colorblindness changes what you see, explain the causes of this, and debunk some myths about what those colorblindness glasses really do. What do Keanu Reeves, Mark Zuckerberg, Prince William, and Logan Paul all have in common? They're all colorblind. Colorblindness, or color deficiency, is a changed ability to see and distinguish different colors because of differences in the cones, or color detecting cells in your eyes. You typically have one cone most sensitive to red, one for green, and one for blue. One of those cones being absent or altered is what leads to color blindness. One in every 12 men and one in every 200 women are affected by it. So there's a really high probability that people you know are colorblind. Color blindness isn't one specific thing though. There are three main types that all have to do with different deficiencies in certain colors, plus a bonus type that I'll cover later. Deuteranopia is a blindness to green light, causing greens, reds, and oranges to be hard to distinguish. It's the most common form of color blindness, with around 4.63% of men having this. Lots of them don't even realize it. Protanopia is a less common form of color blindness, with about 1% of men experiencing it. Here, people don't detect red. This is actually pretty similar to how your dog sees the world. These first two types are both often referred to as red-green color blindness. The third type of color blindness is tritinopia, which makes the world look greenish-pink. This type is really rare, but it affects men and women about the same. Here are some comparisons of how things look different depending on if you have one of these types of color deficiency. As someone with normal vision, it's pretty hard for me to imagine perceiving the world in these different ways. It can be hard to drive with color blindness because of how street lights are affected. Some people even have total color blindness, or monochromacy, meaning that they see no color at all. Only 0.00003% of the population experiences this. Color blindness can't be treated by a doctor like by taking a pill. There's no real cure, but some forms of color deficiency can be treated by special glasses and contacts. Glasses like the ones made by Enchroma provide contrast between red, orange, and green for people with mild red-green color blindness, which can actually significantly change how they see the world. They block the specific wavelengths of light that are causing the most confusion by being picked up by the wrong cones in your eyes. What they see isn't the same as what we consider normal color vision though. And these kinds of glasses can't help with all forms of color blindness, but they do work in the sense that people who put them on are able to often perceive colors that they couldn't see before. If someone without color blindness puts these glasses on, they'll also see primary colors more vividly. Colorblind friendly contact lenses can be put in one eye. They're usually tinted deep red, so they block a lot of green light and improve contrast, kind of like those glasses. So by switching between what eye you use, people can distinguish between green and red. Experiments into gene therapy to actually cure red-green color blindness have shown success in animal trials with monkeys, but that's not available for people yet. There are some apps like Color Binoculars and QView that help colorblind people distinguish colors and coordinate the right ones to put together, like if you're trying to decide on an outfit. Color blindness is largely genetic, so if you have this in your family, it's way more likely that you'll be colorblind yourself. Red-green color blindness is more common in men than women because this is carried through the X chromosome. Men only have one of these and will be colorblind if they get this gene from their mom. But women have two X chromosomes, and both of them need to have this specific gene for them to be red-green colorblind. You could also become colorblind if your eyes or the part of your brain that processes color gets damaged. This can happen because of eye diseases like glaucoma or age-related macular degeneration, brain diseases like Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis, some medicines, or even some eye or brain impact injuries. In reality, all color vision is subjective. Research has found that we experience color differently depending on our gender, where we're from, what language we speak, and all the subtle differences in our brains. So who are any of us to pass judgments on whether how anyone perceives the world is correct? 
Are you colorblind? If so, I'd be really curious for you to comment down below and how that affects your day-to-day -day life, if it does at all. Also, please like this video if you found it interesting or helpful. Thanks.